everyone and welcome back to our channel. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about five things that you probably didn't know about the Belgian Shepherd. Uh, you've already heard that they have a lot of energy and they need plenty of physical and mental stimulation and all that stuff. But today I wanted to share some of the things that may not be so well known. So the first thing is that they are very light for their size. For instance, if you compare a Belgian Shepherd to a German Shepherd, the body structure is very different. The Belgian Shepherd is usually smaller with lighter bones and a square build. Uh, especially the females can be very small. On average, females weigh between 20 to 25 kilograms and males between 25 and 30. Um, but what they lack in size, they certainly make up for in their drive, energy and zest for life. Rancho here is on the larger side for a Belgian Shepherd. He's about 66 centimeters at the withers and he still weighs just around 27 kilograms. And most of the dogs that we meet that are his size are at least 5 to 10 kilos heavier. Not to mention that for the longest time he only weighed around 23 kilos. And the size to weight ratio makes them super fast and nimble. And if you add their high drive to the equation, you have a very powerful missile. All right, number two, they tend to go gray early in life. The first gray hair on the muzzle usually appears as early as one or two years old. It's called frosting. And many Belgians are even born with a bit of frost on their chins. The frosting will become more and more apparent on the muzzle and may extend over the face as the dog ages. And the rate at which they go gray depends on the line that they come from. Some lines don't gray out that fast and have more solid black masks and other lines will go gray early. Rancho is four and a half years old and he's got quite a lot of gray hair on, around his muzzle and on the chin. It started when he was about two years old, uh, but still I think he's graying out a little bit slower than most Tervurans. So don't worry if your dog is young and already going gray. For Belgians it's completely normal and it's not a sign of old age. Just think of black wolves. They're also born black and they get progressively more and more gray from the age of one. All right, number three. Belgian Shepherds have a tendency to be thin. Most owners of Belgian Shepherds that I know have had troubles keeping some weight on their dogs. Uh, they usually started filling in a little at the age of three, but even then they're still super lean and it's quite rare to see an overweight Belgian Shepherd. Uh, partially it's their fast metabolism and also I think it's because they're so active and they burn all the calories before they can make any fat reserves. So if you have a Belgian Shepherd you need to be prepared that people will comment on their weight and even go so far as to accuse you of not feeding them. And with long-coated Belgians like the Tervuren or the Gronendale it's a little better because they only say that when they touch them but if you have a Malinois, you'll get much more of that. All right, number four, they have an extremely quick response. When they're motivated, which in their case isn't hard to do, it kind of seems to me like they can be in two places at once. This can be an advantage as well as a disadvantage in training because they give you no room for mistakes. They're so eager to do stuff and to please you that um, you have to think twice before giving them a command. Sometimes I feel like if I told Rancho to jump off a cliff, he'd actually do that, especially if a ball was involved. Only then would he realize that it wasn't such a good idea. And it's not only about commands. It's almost like in their lives, everything happens in fast motion. They just can't do things slowly. All right, and number five, these dogs are extremely versatile. They do well in a wide variety of sports, herding, agility, protection sports, canny cross bike touring, lure coursing, dog jumping, you name it, they'll be eager to do it and most likely they'll be very good at it. I've seen Belgians excel in all of those sports. So if you get one of these good boys or girls, you should definitely do a sport with them. They will not disappoint you and their motivation and energy is contagious. So before you know it, you'll find yourself loving it as much as they do. If you're looking for a dog to compete with at the highest level and it's your priority, 
a working line is probably a better choice for you, but a healthy, well-bred chill line can do exceptionally well too. All right, so these were some of the things that I thought not everybody knew about the Belgian Shepherd. Let me know in the comments if you knew. And if you have any other interesting information about the breed, leave it in the comments and we might make another video soon. Uh, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications so that you're notified every time we post a new video. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.